the new version of Microsoft Outlook. And before you click away, you're gonna to want to watch this video because I've looked across many of our videos and videos on Outlook as a whole. And I'm gonna be showing you capabilities in Outlook to make your life a whole lot easier when it comes to using the new version of Outlook and even save you some time with some cool new capabilities too. And before we dive into the new version of Outlook, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Many of you watch these videos every single week that we put out. Hitting that subscribe button really helps our channel grow. And a big thank you to today's video sponsor, TeamFlect. TeamFlect provides leading performance management software that you can integrate directly into Microsoft Teams. And we'll find out more about that later. Anyway, let's dive into the new Outlook and show you some features that you may be missing. We've all been there, sending an email that you also want to undo the send for. Well, inside of the new Outlook, we can add a send delay to your email so you can undo the send action if you ever need to. To do that, head up to the settings icon in the top right of Microsoft Outlook. Then head down to Mail and then go to Compose in Reply. In these settings here, we'll scroll down and look for an option that's called Undo Send. Here we can set the amount of seconds being five or 10 seconds in terms of how long we've got to undo the send of that message. When you've set the parameter, go ahead and click on save. And then when you go back into Outlook, you can go ahead and send any email to any of your contacts. But the difference now, within those 10 seconds, we can go down, hit the undo button in Outlook to undo the sending of that email. So a small change that can have a big impact on your emails you send from Outlook. But what about sending this email later? It's great to be able to have the ability to undo a send action, but I may want to send this tomorrow or later on, depending on when this email needs to go out. Well, in the new Outlook, all we need to do is click on the drop down on the send button and select schedule send. In here, we can now define when this email should be sent out. I'll set it for tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., but optionally, I could select custom time to choose an appropriate time and date. So with my option now set, I'll go ahead and hit on send. And if I now go into my drafts, what we will see is the email is scheduled to be sent out. I can also make changes by selecting the pencil icon and I could modify the email or even send it straight away. Another simple change in the new Outlook allowing some flexibility on your emails. And did you know there's a quick way to work with your attachments? Inside of an email you're sending, go ahead and hit the forward slash key in your email and you'll now see the ability to also see existing files you work with. You can even do a search by simply typing in what you're looking for and it will find appropriate files that you've also worked with. Here, let's go ahead and select Project Green Space Roles and Responsibilities, and now we'll insert a link directly to this PDF file. We can also right click and we can actually change the link type and select the appropriate security of this link to ensure that your colleague has access and also it's not too widely available to the whole organization. But a very simple way to bring in your files from Microsoft 365 and attach them in an email in a single button click. And we have so many emails with different tasks within them. Is it possible to book some time to do a particular email activity? Well, absolutely there is. In a new Outlook, we can go ahead and open the to-do sidebar. We've covered this in some of the past videos on our channel, so check them out if you haven't seen them already. So what we're gonna do now is left click and drag this and you'll see there's an option to add in as event. By adding it in that bucket, you'll see this email is now transformed into a meeting appointment. It even brings in my colleague who sent the original email and includes the original email inside of the meeting invitation itself. We can also use additional capabilities like find a time to find the best time for the people in that meeting. But in a couple of clicks, we've transformed an email into an event in your diary, giving you time to complete that task. And if you need a way to improve the performance of your team or business, why not check out today's video sponsor, TeamFlect, which is built on top of Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Teams, giving you great new capabilities to run performance management for your team, one-to-one -one meetings and 360 feedback and more. You'll find a link in the video description below to get started for free on TeamFlect with less than 10 users and further information to get started. So now we've improved performance management, let's head back into Outlook. And I've seen this one come up in the comments quite a few times. 
what on earth has happened to spell check inside of the new Outlook? Because here we have a typo. Right clicking it only shows me emojis that I could select from inside of Outlook. And well, an emoji won't cut it for this email. But not to worry. What if I told you you were simply doing it wrong? Because now what we need to do is left click the spelling error and we can choose from the different spellings here and adjust them inside of Outlook. So yes, rather than right click, it's now left click. And of course, don't blame me. And here's another one that I've seen in the comments. How on earth can we add a local file attachment from your desktop into an email in New Outlook? Well, you can actually do that as well. By left click and dragging an attachment into your email, New Outlook will identify that you've got two options. You can add it into your OneDrive and then share a link to the person who's receiving that email. But if you wanna do it the old fashioned way and have a copy attached to that email, you can go ahead and drop it under Attach Files. As we can see, attaching that has attached the actual file. It's not within your OneDrive. But if we go ahead and remove this attachment and instead left click again, now we'll find that we're uploading it into OneDrive, creating a sharing link inside of our email. So it is now possible to work with attachments in this way. And on the subject of attachments, can we also save as an attachment from an email in New Outlook? And again, we can do that. In the drop down for your file attachment, you'll see an option to save as. You can now save this as locally into any option that you choose. You're not gonna be forced to save it into your OneDrive or into Microsoft 365. And how many emails do you have? We need to go and schedule a meeting. While well, inside of the new Outlook, we can easily do that by scheduling a meeting directly from an email. All we need to do is go to the free dot menu and then select other apply actions and reply all by meeting. When we do that, we'll now have the recipients of the email included in the invitation itself and also the email, which means you can now schedule a meeting in a couple of clicks without the need to go and draft an invitation right from scratch. And in New Outlook, you can also use Category Spell to organize your emails in the way that we did previously with folders. For example, I've got a couple of emails here relating to a team away day. I'd like to have them in one location to get back to them quickly without creating a new folder in the left-hand side of my Outlook. So with Categories, we can do exactly that. What we'll do is right-click this email, select Categorize, and then select Manage Categories. Now you'll see all the categories inside of your Outlook. Pick a color and update the name of the category itself. With that done, we're also gonna hit on the star icon to the right to create a favorite so we can get back to these emails with these categories really quickly. Click on save and now we'll see the team away day showing here. We'll close out of this dialog, right click my email and we'll set a category on here for team away day. And I'll do the same on another email relating to exactly that same topic. Now with our email now categorized, we can easily left click on the blue category and see all results where that category exists really quickly. And not only that, in the left hand side of your Outlook, you'll also see under your favorites the Team Away Day category. By left clicking, you'll now see all emails associated to that category, ensuring you can get back to them quickly without using folders. And finally, how can we add other accounts into New Outlook? Well, on the left-hand side of your New Outlook here, you can select Add an Account. If you don't see that option, under the Settings, you can go into here, select Accounts, and then select Add Account. And go ahead and type in the email address that you'd like to connect into the New Outlook. As we can see in the left-hand side, we now have our Outlook.com account alongside my Microsoft 365 Business account working in combination in a new version of Outlook. So what do you think about these new features in Microsoft Outlook? Do you think they'll be able to help you adopt it better? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try and see if we can answer them in a future video. Ensure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when these videos drop every single week. And a big thank you to today's video sponsor TeamFlect, which supports better performance management built on top of Teams and Outlook. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.